The Parable of the Old Man, the Leper, and the Adulteress The Lord says, A parable. In the midst of a flourishing garden stood the venerable old man, happily contemplating his work. An overflowing fountain of clear water sprinkled his cultivated garden. The old one wished to share his fruits, and he invited travelers to partake of his blessings. There came to him a man, sick with leprosy. The old one regarded him with love, received him, and asked him what he was seeking. The traveler said to him, Do not come near me, for I am a leper. The old one, without feeling any repugnance, allowed him to enter. He gave him shelter in his home, and he nourished him without asking the cause of his illness. The leper, while under the protection of the old one, cleansed his body, and, full of gratitude, said to him, I will stay with you, for you have restored my health. I will help you to cultivate your fields. Afterward, a woman arrived at that place, with desperation reflecting on her face, and the old one asked her, What do you need? And tearfully she replied, I cannot hide my sin. I have committed adultery, and I have been turned away from my home, and have abandoned my small children. The old one said to her, Do not fall into adultery again. Love and respect your spouse, and before you go back to your home, Drink from this clear water and purify yourself. But the woman replied, I cannot go back, but allow your calling to reach my home, and I will remain at your service. The days passed, and the small children who had been left alone went in search of the old one, for they knew that he imparted charity, and he said to them, What do you seek? And they answered, we have been left alone in our home. Our parents have abandoned us, and we have come to you in search of bread and shelter, for we know that through you we will find them. The old one said to them, Come in, your parents are with me. Rest and join them. Everyone was reunited, and in that blessed company they regained peace. There was forgiveness and reconciliation, and they returned to their everyday life. The regenerated father, cleansed of leprosy, sheltered the woman under his roof again, and gave warmth to his children. She, repentant and cleansed, was a refuge for the man and a cradle for her children. The children, who thought they had lost their parents forever, gave thanks to the old one for having regained them and for permitting their home to be restored. This is the end of the parable. Truly, I say to you, if you seek me in the midst of your greatest problems, you will always find a solution for them. I am the old one of the parable. Come to me, for I do not reject anyone. Instead, I avail myself of your ordeals to purify you and draw you nearer to me. Come one and all, regain your peace and your health. Drink from the clear spring and be saved. For I am the book of life, and I have presented one more page in order for you to study and be strong within my teaching. Do you wish to progress along this path? Know my law and comply with each one of my precepts. Do not offer bitterness to your father or make me suffer. Behold that my sacrifice is constant. You carry me to the cross at every moment because of your doubt and incomprehension. To you men, I have granted a heritage, a treasure, a woman of whom you are the overseers, in order to love and preserve her. And nevertheless, your companion has come to present her complaints and tears to me because of your lack of understanding. I have said that you are strong, that you have been created in my image and likeness, but I have not sent you to humiliate the woman and make her your slave. 
I have given you strength so that you may represent me in your home. Strong in virtue, in talent, and I have given you a woman as a companion and as a complement in your earthly existence, so that you may find fortitude to withstand the ordeals and vicissitudes through the love of both. Now I am calling you to my kingdom, so that you may be saved. But you must work and earn merits in order to climb toward the path of light that I have outlined for you. I anxiously await you. Come, and you will be welcome as obedient children, and there will be rejoicing in heaven. Why do you feel fatigue in your spirit when I give you strength in every instant? Do not drift away from me, even when there is tiredness or coldness which mankind has imposed upon you. I am the resurrection and the life. If you confide in me, you will regain your strength and happiness. When you are in need of support, turn to Elijah, your shepherd, and he will sustain you. When you need consolation and tenderness, turn to Mary, your heavenly mother, and feel her caress and her balsam. Recognize her love. She feels your pain, and she accompanies you in your sorrows. How great is her suffering when you go astray from the pathway and walk blindly after beholding this light. Pain has flooded the heart of mankind. Today, that prophecy has been fulfilled, which states, Parents will deny their children, and the children their parents. Brothers will deny and hate each other. You will also behold how the homes can be places of discord and hostility. But I have come to stop you along the path and tell you to eliminate those destructive weapons and not destroy one another, to flee from that chaos, to come and follow me in this work of redemption.